This is the first section of chapter five on probabilities. And this section is about calculating probabilities. Now, most of this stuff you'll know already from GCSE. There isn't anything really new, but just make sure you know um, how to describe these words, what their definitions are, an experiment, outcome or outcomes, an event, what a sample space is, and equally likely, how does that affect probabilities when you're working them out? Example one, two fair spinners each have four sectors numbered one to four. The two spinners are spun together and the sum of the numbers indicated on each spinner is recorded. Find the probability of the spinners indicating the sum of A exactly five and B more than five. So the way we need to answer this question is by drawing a sample space diagram that will list or show all the different outcomes possible from spinning these two spinners. So here's my sample space diagram. Now we need to show the sum of the numbers. So the sum of the numbers is going to indicate the outcomes. So we'll just add the numbers. Uh, like this, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. So now we can answer this question. So part A, uh, probability that they've got a sum of exactly five. Now there's one, two, three, four of those out of 16. So four over 16. Now we don't need to simplify it, but if we did, it will be a quarter. Then part B, the probability that it's more than five. So more than five doesn't include five. One, two, three, four, five, six out of 16, which we could write instead if we divide both of those by two, three over eight. Example two, the table shows the times taken in minutes for a group of students to complete a number puzzle. A student is chosen at random, find the probability that they finish the number puzzle, part A under nine minutes, part B over 10.5 minutes. So we need to know what this probability is out of. So we need to know what the total frequency is. So six plus 13 plus 12 plus five plus four. This is going to give us the denominators for our fractions. And that is 40. So part A, we know it's going to be something over 40. And under nine minutes, well, that's going to be the six here and the 13 here. And that's all of the 13 because this is less than nine. So this is under nine minutes. So six plus 13 over 40, which gives us a final answer of 19 over 40. OK, part B in over 10.5 minutes. Now that's sum of this plus five plus four. So we're going to work out what this part is and we're going to use the interpolation which we used in a previous chapter. So to do that, we start by drawing our little diagram like this. Now in this question, we actually know the number and that's 10.5. In the previous examples, we've been trying to find that number. What is missing is its position. And that position is going to help us work out um, how many are over 10.5 minutes. So we know the position of this time here. So that's going to be where the last group ends. So it's going to be 19. And we know the position of this value here, or we can work it out. We need cumulative frequency for that. So 6, 13, uh, 20, oh, so 6, 19, 31, 36, 40. Right, so this group that we're interested in here well, goes all the way to 31. So we're trying to find this value here. Let's call it X. So now we can write our equation. So that's going to be X minus 19 over 31 minus 19 equals 10.5 minus 9 over 11 minus 9. So that will give us X minus 19 over 12. And then the other side simplifies over here to three quarters. So X is going to be three quarters 
times by 12 plus 19. So the value of x is 28. OK, so what does that tell us? That tells us that this 10.5 minutes is the 28th uh, position. So how many positions are there above this 28th position? Well, that probability is going to be 40 minus 28 over 40. And that leaves us with 12 over 40, which we could simplify if we want to by dividing by 4, 3 over 10. So that's the uh, probability that someone's going to take more than 10 and a half minutes to finish the puzzle. So you should now be able to finish exercise 5a on pages 71 to 72.